Men, good afternoon and welcome to Stoller Hall here in Manchester, England. Before we start today's press conference, we have a very special VIP in the house, and we'd like to present him with a very special presentation. So Callum Smith from Liverpool, as we know, won the World Boxing Super Series in Saudi Arabia when he beat George Groves to retain his WBC Diamond Belt. He won the WBA Super, and he also has now won the Ring Magazine uh, belt. This belt is held by very few people. I think right now six people hold it, including Lomachenko, Usyk, Sorung Visai, uh, Canelo. Very few people have this belt. It is very prestigious. And here to present the actual belt, I'd like to present to you now the associate editor of Ring Magazine, Mr. Tom Gray. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, David. And uh, thanks, everybody, for coming along today. Three press conferences today. The first, obviously, to celebrate a fantastic win in Saudi Arabia. These things, as we know, to any boxing fan, this is, this is the creme de la creme. Joe Gallagher is, is very excited to even be sitting next to a Ring Magazine belt, even though for those who know, he was also Ring Magazine Trainer of the Year. He didn't tell anyone about it, but it's a, it's a fantastic achievement and really shows the quality of the fighter, I believe. And any fighter growing up has their eye on becoming that Ring Magazine champion and, and ultimately be given that number one position in the division. Um, it was a great night back in Jeddah. Callum Smith, who's really been patient and, you know, we thank the World Boxing Super Series and Cali Salem for giving him the opportunity to go into a tournament where we knew that if he kept winning, eventually he would get his world title shot. The world title shot came against arguably the number one in the division at the time in George Groves, WBA super champion. And it was a fantastic performance knocking George Groves out to become WBA super champion, ring magazine champion, and also retain his WBC diamond belt. This is the first time Callum's been before the UK media in force, so we just wanted to bring him and congratulate him today. Talk about the plans for the future. Got a big Liverpool fan here. Got a top scouser here and sort of converted scouser down the end in, in Joe. And obviously the plan for us is very simple and it's that Anfield date in the summer. And before we speak to Joe and Callum, I'm going to pass over to Adam Smith from Sky Sports. Yeah, I want to say a huge congratulations to Callum. I think it was a wonderful performance uh, out in Saudi. Uh, a lot of people picked George Groves beforehand from the experience that he had, but uh, I thought it was punch perfect from Callum. I thought his jab was uh, extraordinary. I thought he, he used his size, but as I said to him and Joe, I think the patience he showed as well in the performance was, um, was, was very, very special. He is a special fighter. He's a lovely guy as well, and uh, as Eddie said, I'm, I'm a big Liverpool fan. I was at Anfield uh, for the Cardiff game uh, a couple of weeks ago, and, and Callum brought the belt onto the pitch. He got a wonderful ovation, not just from the cop, but from everyone around the ground. Uh, it, I know it's his dream to fight at Anfield, and uh, if there's anything that uh, we can do from our side, uh, we want to make that dream come true uh, next year for him. So uh, a huge congratulations. I think uh, a lot of people haven't realized how special Callum's been for a long, long time. He's waited his time. He's is his chance and uh, he deserves to be seen now as the leading super middleweight in the world and there are some wonderful wonderful fights ahead for him so uh, many congratulations Callum. Joe special night in Jeddah great great scenes and although it was a, a surreal event in a way and a, a lot more successful than, than we thought it might be in a great atmosphere out there a huge performance a huge achievement and finally after a long time in waiting Callum Smith is world champion and you know, importantly, as you say, the, the Ring Magazine champion as well. Yeah, it was uh, obviously my biggest uh, uh, achievement to date, steering a fighter from day one to the top of the mountain. He swam the channel now. He's the world champion. He went into the tournament to become a world champion. And not only in the final did he uh, beat a world champion, he beat the recognised number one fighter in the world in George Groves, who is a great fighter. I'm a huge fan of George Groves. Um, whatever he chooses to do going forward now, I wish him the best, whether he fights again or retires. Um, he's had a great career um, and it was just fitting that no one could question that Callum Smith is now not the number one super middleweight on the planet. 
like you say, Saudi Arabia, Jeddah, it was a, a surreal experience. Um, they looked after us well, and um, we'll be able to look back fondly um, in that event on that night. Callum put on a very disciplined performance. We knew we had to with George. He was uh, George can take you out with either hand. He's got a good team behind him, a good training, Shane McGuigan. And uh, we had to have the best Callum Smith. But I did say all along during the tournament, I know Callum won on points against Scogland, then Nicky Holskin. But I've always said when Callum's motivated, Callum will deliver. And his career to date shows that. In British title, one round. European title, one round. English title, one round and world title against the number one in the world, seven rounds. So a motivated Callum Smith is one of the most dangerous fighters on the planet. And the plan now moving forward, Callum's going to have a rest, enjoy fatherhood in the new year, and then um, hopefully we're fighting Anfield. And the names we're looking to fight now, as I just said to you, Callum needs to be motivated. We're after the big guns, whether that does be Canelo Alvarez. Um, Andre Ward is a preferred choice. We'd love to get him out of retirement. Um, I think uh, uh, that would be a great fight. Triple G is another one. You know as well, Eddie. Eddie there's like the Badoo Jacks, the Donna Stevensons. But, but they're the type of fighters we're looking for for Calvin Smith at Anfield. That'll pack Anfield. Liverpool Football Club Anfield have been denied that big fight. We've been fortunate in Manchester with Ben Eubank, Old Trafford, Ricky Hatton down the road at uh, Manchester City, Tony has done Goodison. Now the red side of Liverpool needs their night and they've got Callum Smith, the number one in the world, ready to fight one of the big names in world boxing. And uh, hopefully now, like you say, Sky, Adam Smith, yourself, go out there and deliver the kid the big night and uh, we'll have a, another crazy night in Liverpool. Some of those fights you talked about, you know, those guys prefer, preferably for them, at 175. Is that an option? Now for Callum, not, not necessarily long term, but on a fight by fight basis to look outside of the weight class as well? Well, I think Callum will be able to say that. I just think to myself, Callum Smith is set out to do what he wanted to do in boxing. That has become the number one in the world in his weight division. He's done that. Everyone sees the size of Callum. If there was a, an Andre Ward fight, you'd be foolish not to pass that opportunity up to fight him, whether he wants to come back at 175 or try and do 168. We've got to look outside of the boxes. I don't think they'd be too keen to come over to the UK. So we need you and Matchroom and the Zone and Sky and Baza to open up the safe, <laughs> get the money out and entice them over. And let's have, let's have a great night in Liverpool. And Liverpool's a great fight city, whether you're Everton or Liverpool, they all unite, they all come together and they all support their own. And I'm just picturing and visualising Anfield that night and them singing, you'll never walk alone. And uh, it's spine tingling stuff. And I think that's what we're looking to try and strive and, and deliver next year. Callum, welcome. We know you take everything in your stride, but uh, as Joe said from, from day one, day one with us as well, saw some funny yeah. pictures of you and me yeah. signing contracts back then. I didn't really know what I was doing then. <laughs> I, only, I only know a little bit what I'm doing now, to be honest with you, but you've stayed patient and, and a massive achievement for you in Jeddah and, and now massive nights ahead. Yeah, it was a massive achievement. The aim was always to become a world champion and I believe the day time professional that I was good enough to do it. I knew it wouldn't be easy but I was always confident that I'd get there but to win a ring magazine is something you now as a kid you'd always see the belt and you never really think those Brits can win one. It's always the big Americans and the top names you have one. To to have one I am proud but no I'm not finished. I feel like my career's only just getting started. I've reached the top but you know, there's a lot of big fights out there for me. A lot of you know fights with massive names and they're the fights that excite me. I didn't turn professional to, you know, fight fighters who I'm expected to win or low level fights. I want to test myself against the best and see how good I really am before I'm finished. And you know, I don't want any regrets. And I think the only way of doing that is to test myself against the best and you know, see how good I really am. And I've achieved that. But I do believe the future's bright. There's a lot of big names in my division or around my division. I'm very big for the weight. And Joe mentioned the move up in weight, but. I think there's a lot of big fights and unfinished business at super middle before I think about to move to 175. I'm ranked number one in the world, but I'd like to cement that. I'd like to beat you know, some of the other champions and unification fights is definitely something that you know does excite me. So, you know, the future's bright. 2018's been a very, very good year for me, but I believe 2019 can top it. The bigger names in the division, 
or the, the other belt holders aren't necessarily the bigger names yeah. in, in world boxing. Good fighters, sort of like yeah. Ramirez and Uzkatiki. Is, is the process and is the key unifications or, or the marquee fights? I mean, Joe mentioned Canelo. I think Golovkin is a fight that I think makes great sense at Anfield in May. Spoke to Tom Loeffler about that. Is it to capture the other belts or just be in those marquee fights as well? Both. No, unification fights are definitely something I always, always wanted to be involved in. But like you said, they are very good fighters, but they're not household names and I don't think a fight against Ramirez or, or Benavidez sells well at Anfield as much as a Golovkin does who is a household name yeah the Golovkin fight wouldn't be for another belt so either or if you're offering me a unification fight I'd jump at that if I was to fight a big name at Anfield then I'd jump at that it's just either or I've, I've achieved a world title now so that box is ticked so now it's just about the big fight and finally, we always talked about the Anfield nights and, yeah. you know, it's always been a dream, but now a real opportunity. You were there last weekend, great reception, yeah. great chance to fill that place this summer would be very special. Yeah, it's, it's something that's always been mentioned every time Liverpool gets an half decent fighter, you get all fight at Anfield and I always just laughed it off and said, yeah, but never actually believed it'd be possible. And I think the possibilities of it happening now are greater than ever. They've just got the license to hold other sporting events and I've just won a world title within the same month so it seems like you know, the ball's rolling and I've got a great team around me, yourself, Sky, Joe and you know, I think if it's going to happen then now's the time to do it. Well done Callum, we're all very proud of you, a great performance and this really is only the beginning, a guy who has very, very few miles on the clock and he's now established world champion, ring magazine champion and a, and a standout clear number one in the 168 pound division. Um, we're going to have a quick photo up here with all of us guys and then we're going to be in the uh, undercard press conference for Usyk Belly. Once again, round of applause for the new world champion, Callum Smith.